Hello, people. Um, this is a video for somebody called Jerry's Last Nerve. He was asking about the red vent lights, how I installed them, and how I uh, got them, what they are. All right, well, first things first. I mean, for a 2008 Scion XB, I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't, really don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. You stick your fingers in these two vents, doesn't really matter which one, and pull, this whole piece comes off. All right? Now, I don't know if my iPod will go up there. Yeah, my, I broke my camera. The, uh, the lens piece just decided to blow off. Now it does this. And displays that. So, my camera's dead, so I have to go get a new one. Till then, I'm using my iPod Touch. Anyways, the, that's basically what it is. It's just this little LED strip light. Let's see if it'll... No, you can't really see it with it off. But a six inch strip light that has about three, or six, LED, six LEDs inside of it. You know, um, that's in every single one of them. They come over here, and how I did it, Jerry, was I came up through the back here. You pull this off. I'm not going to do it because it's a hassle. Try to get it in. And then once you do, there's two screws, I believe. One here, one here on the inside. And you, once that those two screws are out, there should be two more. One, two, somewhere around there, something like that. Then you pop this off it slides all the way out from down there there's a little peg that sits up there down there at the bottom at the end of both sides make sure that there, there's like a little hole thing that goes in there when you put that back in it's kind of important otherwise you're it'll be flapping around anyways i just took uh, that kind of wire the red and black and uh stripped the wire for my you really can't see it strip the wire for my cigarette lighter down here and then ran it up sealed it off ran it up all the way up here came up here this little piece right here or else, you know, there's gonna be this just snaps off doesn't really even yeah there see that snaps off that makes up the radio assembly and then this is actually how you get the radio out too there's a, there's a bolt there, bolt there, bolt there, and bolt there. And I just ran it up through here. It made this spot right here the collection area for all the wires and everything. And then just read po ran positive, tied it into positive, then routed it to the power. Came over here, did this. It's going from here. I'm not going to pull this off, by the way. It's a pin in the ass to get back on. You just... You can come over here and then this whole little section right here comes off. You just like that and then that vent's exposed. And don't even get me started on that one. I have no idea how I got that. I believe somehow this comes off or whatnot. But I remember I had to do a lot to try to get it off. But it runs over, down, goes way down in here, misses all the electronics in here comes over here and actually I think you can see the wire coming right here right down here and actually I need to tuck that back in hold on a second ah, there we go comes down there runs over through here and then this one I actually made little slices in the plastic right here with a knife and made the wire go up and under there all this all these are as you can see the electrical tape that's just holding the wire on there it goes all the way up the the lights themselves are super glued onto the plastic you go up through here connect the positive there we go positive positive to the positive power and then you do the same for negative negative tie to this negative and then tie both of those into this one you twist and then, you know you get the idea and then you make sure everything's tied off and electrical taped and whatnot so it doesn't get, you know, short out. Otherwise it'll go, you know, 
blow up. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I mean, they're just six inch lights from AutoZone. I wish I had to still had the package I could show you guys. But uh, as for Jerry's question, that should about should answer it. I mean, just in case, I am gonna post a video on what these lights are in my car. Okay. These ones are, I'm gonna switch to, oh wait, I can't, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna go, the one that's blinking up there should be a, and by the way, this is not supposed to blink. It should be one of those, if you can see it. But, it's like a little Batman shaped thing. It's supposed to go back and forth like this. And it's supposed to look kind of, you really can't see it. It's supposed to look kind of like that one, but yeah, two different model numbers in the same package, so. And then the blue ones right here on the center console are just S-types I bought from AutoZone. The, these two underneath the seats I got from Pet Boys, these were about... 25 bucks these ones and I had it wired in and everything it comes with a little switch box You really can't see it see my hand it's a little switch box You can dim them turn them off make them brighter whatever, but I like to keep them right about there and then Those in the back I got from Walmart and then I got some 20 uh, inch LED or 10 or yeah, uh, no 12 inch, sorry, not 20 inch, 20, 12 inch, sorry, 12 inch blue LED strips for the back, and I just have that plugged in, and then down here, these are from AutoZone too, they're just the LED bar lights, the red ones, and actually maybe you can see this one a little better since it's brighter out here, but, um, by the way, this is not done. It's just a ghetto version, so I don't have to pay $400 for underglow. And I have a back problem right now, so that's why I'm groaning. <laughs> but anyways, that's one of the... That is coming off, by the way. That right there from... You really can't see it from about here. One, two, three, four, five, six to about right here. It's about that long, that's what the LED strip says. This one's white, but the other one in there's red. So you guys know. Um, and I have a new addition to the car. Went to Radio Shack and picked up a uh, mobile scanner unit and I had it programmed for everything. You really can't read the message. It's there. You go. See, it's, it says police department on there, but it really doesn't pick anything up. There you go. I put that in there, and it's got the Ogden Airport, and this it picks this up sometimes. Sometimes it picks it up, <laughs> but it's got weather and all this other stuff you can you can do with police it's a triple trunking but I don't have any frequencies on there for the police that's just what came uh, pre-installed on it so and that's pretty much it I mean I can show you how to put this back on it's really simple little red clips right near and right near you just put them in the holes just like hold on I'll turn that light off it's kind of in the way just put them in the holes just like that just like this snap it back on snap it back on make sure when you put this back on make sure th this little tab is on the top because it's gonna go on that little central notch that's right above that and then you just go push and you just go push and then that pretty much does it I mean, I'm running in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go. But there you have it. 
Um, any more questions, just ask me. All right, send me a mail, something, whatever. All right, Mythic One, out.